hello and welcome everyone so in the last video we started discussion about collections support in spring and we have discussed the list as one of the collection and we have seen we have gone through the examples of creating and populating the list and accessing it in our programmatic code now carrying on with the previous tutorial we'll continue here the discussion with set map and properties the remaining three other major collections type that are supported by the spring so let me just see over here this particular part so we have covered the list we need to discuss set map and property all three we will cover today so let's begin with the code so here's eclipse welcome screen the project the last changes we did over here in the configuration file where as you can see that we have created the bean property list and we have initialized it so let me just execute it once to see if during demonstration I made some changes which were not applicable at runtime or so if it is executing okay it's working so fine now if I talk about set and list the spring has no other or you can say a different syntax for this for those two like if you want to work with set rather than list all you need to do is to substitute the word set instead of list all in the case of classes declarations as well as in the configuration in the configuration you just need to use the set tag so let me show you this I come over here to the report if you remember we have this report class which contains a list of list type of property that is customer list referring to the collection of customers now I delete this getter and setter and I create over here set of customer of course not a generic object and correspondingly I need to generate the getter and setter as well so I come to the source generate getter and setter I'll select it ok fine and in the implementation you need to make the changes to be reflected here like rather than having list we need to have set over here of customer type of course and this java.util.set need to be imported pointing your mouse over here and then or you just scroll over here to the top and rather than having list let's say we have the set over here so all this we need to make changes in the code but for the configuration the only change required here is set it says set over here as the opening element as well as the closing element and here let's suppose as I was talking about earlier now I have here one reference C1 that is the customer object created outside our bean so I refer to it and another two beans I am creating over here so let's just execute the output remains the same over here as you can see here this is what this particular customer object as a set is written to you and uh, if I need to make this a collection of object similar changes I need to do over here like I say object I make over here object and object similarly I will make changes over here rather than having customer object and in bean now you can see here okay one second just some changes need to be saved fine come to the beans and here again now I can have values as well directly inserted over here like suppose if I want to insert directly a value I say value tag and whatever the value you want to insert you can specify over here like 100 and this is again going to be part of your collection you just run this Java application and you see over here 100 also you get and I think it's not necessary to discuss here the differences between list and set but just for if you want to see that this works in case of a spring also like say you have a value 100 and again here at last you want to insert another value 100 so set never allows duplication so you are not going to get this 200 instead you will get only 100 as a value in the collection you just execute the application and you see here you got 100 here but this is the last object in the collection you don't have another 100 over here cause set doesn't allows duplicacy like if you have 300 over here and you execute these two values are different and comparing them by their hash code this value will be allowed you can see over here 
100 is here and at last you will be having 300 as well so this is what this set allows you over list and this or there are many more differences that uh, i don't think it's required to be discussed over here and now let's jump into our another section that is map and you can see very simply list or set nearly almost the same syntax only the word get changed that is instead of list we have the set and it works in the same way the same order same allowed of tag value also ref also and this inner bean can also be declared in case of set now the important thing is that in case of map it is going to be changed a bit more like me like if i talk about maps it allows a pair of key and values let me just write it and show you like i remove all the entries over here and let's say rather than having list or set i'm having a map over here first is the key type let's assume i'm gonna allow over here integer as the key type and value is going to be of the customer type and my object is like customer map i named it fine so customer map is simply the property one property in the report class i need to generate the getter and setter for it as well i say okay and here i make the changes and save in the implementation now rather than having set what we are going to have is the map so i'm going to just comment out these two line and i'm going to create a map again mapping to the syntax for the key and value like i declared in the report class customer i say over here map or whatever you want to name it report dot get customer map fine and here this is error because we haven't imported the java.title map okay or uh, now we need to just simply display the content so we say map but this is very sim similar what do you do in the core applications when you need to work with the collection but real thing to understand over here is how this bean configuration should be done for our map type collection objects so first of all i'm going to remove everything from here and here I guess the property name I changed in the report you can see over here this report contains a customer map rather than having a customer list variable name so I just replace it over with customer map so now my report class contain only one property that is customer map of type map with key as of integer type and values as of customer type so coming back to the configuration file we have another tag supported over here that is map we can make use of here if I need to supply the value for the key as well as for the value itself I have an entry tag I use this entry tag I say here key and I supply the value depending upon the type I have selected so you can see over here I specified integer as the type for the keys for the customer reference so let's say there is key called 1000 this is the key referring to one of the particular customer and what a value that you want to use or specify over here it can be specified using the value or value ref if it is a simple type you can use the value or if it is going to be an object type you can use the value ref i say value ref and i can refer to one of the existing bean like c1 this is of customer type so i say c1 cause key is of integer nature and value is of customer nature you can see here once more like map this customer map variable or property is of type map which contains keys of integer nature and values of customer nature so the declaration would be something like entry key equals to the 1000 the integer type and value reference if it is a another bean that is being declared outside our current bean so we use the value ref tag to specify over it but if you want to declare it as an inner bean like we discussed in the set and list you can do it as well you create an entry tag you specify a key over here like say key equal to 2000 and the va instead of using the value ref you close it the entry tag and inside its body you declare the bean like bean class is going to be let me just copy this and make the changes because it's going to be a uh, time consuming and typos can be there so i just declared a bean you can see over here and id is not required as it's an inner bean here the values correspondingly i want to make changes i say over here let's say nev joshi and age i specified and kind of thing okay so now you can see over here our collection contains this map type key 1000 with one value of customer object c1 that is referred over here and another entry in our map is 
with the key value of 2000 and values value referring to a bean an object which is declared as a inner bean over here so let me just change it saved and implement it or just test it okay so here we go you can see the output the key that is 1000 and the value of that key is this customer object details another key is 2000 and its value is Nif Joshi another record that I have inserted so it's very simple and straightforward and if you want to insert values directly value types you can do so by using the value tag like you can specify over here entry key equals to let's say 3000 and the value there is a tag value which you can use over here to specify what is the value like I say over here this is going to be customer object I named it as string okay but one more change we need to make over here in the report class as we have specified over here the values of this map collection is going to be of customer type so we need to make it of object type of course object object and here as well object so any object can be inserted and here in the implementation as well we need to make changes say, say call it object so we can insert any object as a part of value of this map so when you come to this beans you can see over here I have first entry the key value of 3000 and value is a string customer object second and third that is key entry key with 1000 and 2000 values are objects one referring to the C1 a bean declared outside our bean and another one is an inner bean declared so all will be allowed in this case now you can see it generic objects you can insert over here so I execute it and as expected the values are here 3000 is you can see here the value for this key 3000 is customer object a string but the value for this key 1000 is a complete object here this object and for 2000 again a value is a complete object so working with this map is also not but uh, you can say is difficult you have this syntax that you need to understand and you can work on one more thing uh, it's not always necessary to have key as simple value type okay generally in practice what we do we have this like serial numbers or generated IDs we keep it of nature integer or long but if you require to keep the key and value both of object nature let's say it is referring to account object and this is referring to customer object when we have an application a real-time application we create a collection where an customer can be identified by the account object or an account number so in that case if this is going to be of object type then in the configuration file what you need to do rather than having this key you have to use a key ref tag let me show you this this is key ref so I will use key ref and referring to one object like say ACC is here ACC123 this account object I will be referring as a key and I will have a value as a let's say customer object like C1 so you can use this key ref tag as well if you have both key and value of reference type or of object type this can be done okay so this is about map and one last thing that is properties we need to discuss as you know this property is nothing but again a collection very similar to our map kind of key value pair but with one exception that in case of property both the key and value must be of type spring string like we have inbuilt get properties method in the system class you use it many times to retrieve the system system name, the system architecture and lot of system related property and java environment related property you use the property so all the property are specified as key value pair only possibility in case of properties is to have one and only thing that is key and value of a string type so I'm gonna make changes over here what changes are these like I'm gonna have properties over here from the java.util package and here I create a variable over here customer properties okay I just create a getter and setter for it source generate getter and setters hit ok fine so now I get properties generated necessary changes will be required over here as well so I am just gonna comment out this as well the set one the map one both are commented now I say over here again properties from the java.util package in our implementation class I say prop is the an object and I say this factory bean class whatever I have created dot get me that customer what I named it actually customer properties so I call it get customer properties uh, sorry get bean uh, rather first I have to do it and let's call it I'm gonna have that property over there represented as 
RPT. This is going to be the report class properties. This is not the faculty, sorry. RPT dot get me customer properties. REP dot get customer properties. Fine. So I will get all the customer properties and I'm gonna just simply print it out. Prop. Fine. But how we configure it in Bean is different from all what we have configured related to list, set, and map. Actually, this property is not simply the part of collection. You can see it, list, map, and even the map is not uh, part of the collection API in Java, but it's not the matter of discussion over here. So, this is our property. Right now, its name is not customer map. In case of report class, we have only one property right now, and its name I changed to customer property so I just copy the name of this property I need to make configuration changes over here in the beans.xml file to reflect it so how exactly it is going to be injected we have another tag over here props you see here props in case of props what we can specify as a child as a prop tag this prop element or tag expects you to supply a string type key like it could be customer email okay and the value will be specified under the opening and closing element of this prop here like I say over here Shoaib Khan at srkplanet.com similarly I can create many keys I just keep on copying and pasting I say over here let's say it's gonna be customer web URL and this is I'm gonna type over here HTTP colon slash slash SRK planet dot WordPress dot com a string but you can see over here both the key and values are of a string nature whatever you insert the characters are going to be treated as a string only no objects or nothing you can insert into properties so it's very simple and straightforward and I'm gonna execute it I will get the key and values written from the properties stored in our or injected in our bean you see here the key is customer email and the value is this one another is the customer web URL and the value is this one I haven't touched the customer class nor it can be touched cause in case of property you cannot insert object or anything property can only take a string as key and value which I have declared over here and it is supposed to be okay so this is all about the collection support in a spring and we have discussed I guess all the four lists set map and properties okay thank you for watching